Lab monkey prices soar in U.S. after China cuts off exports. New York prices of laboratory monkeys in the U.S. have jumped around 15-fold from pre-COVID levels, with China having blocked exports and a new stable source yet to be found. The shortage could delay development by American pharmaceutical manufacturers, making the problem a matter of national economic security. Prices of species commonly used in lab testing, such as long-tailed macaques and rhesus monkeys, rose to around $55,000 to $60,000 in April, according to Evercore ISI analyst Elizabeth Anderson. January's range of about $35,000 to $40,000 was already up sharply from the pre-virus level of around $4,000 to $7,000. Monkeys are indispensable to new drug development. The U.S. has long required safety testing in animals before clinical trials in humans. Lab monkey demand rose after the onset of COVID-19, especially from major drug companies rushing to develop vaccines and treatments, helping to push up prices. The spike in prices in the U.S. has been fueled primarily by top monkey exporter China, which abruptly curtailed shipments abroad after the pandemic began. The U.S. imported 20,270 lab monkeys from China in 2019, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 60 percent or so of its total imports. In 2020, that number fell to just 3,723. China said the suspension of exports was due to the spread of the coronavirus. Worsening Sino-American relations have also played a role. China is investing heavily in the medical and pharmaceutical fields, hoping to become a world leader. China aims to keep the monkeys that shape drug research and development within its borders. This echoes how it has monopolized scarce and critical resources, such as those used in the production of smartphones and electric vehicles, and exploited them for its own economic security. The U.S. is scrambling to secure a new source, but it is difficult to quickly put in place an infrastructure for lab monkeys. Monkeys used for drug development must be raised in breeding facilities under strict conditions. Wild monkeys may carry diseases and cannot be used in clinical trials. After China halted exports, the U.S. shifted to Cambodia as a source. But in November, Cambodian officials and others were accused of exporting wild long-tailed macaques to the U.S. under the guise of having been bred in captivity for research. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has since banned imports from the Southeast Asian country. There is currently no prospect of resuming exports from either China or Cambodia. Anderson says exports from China are unlikely to resume in 2023, owing to its tough stance toward the U.S. The monkey shortage's effects on the development of cutting-edge cancer treatments and other drugs are spreading. If a new source cannot be secured, then American pharmaceutical companies could start to see delays in new drug development from the end of June, Anderson said.